Hello boarders, this is a new experience for me and probably for you, a virtual boarders service. I'm going to try and do something different every time that we meet together. Today I'm going to lead us in a meditation. So I want you to start by just sitting comfortably, having your feet flat on the ground, your back straight and hands in your lap and just put your hands together and your thumbs together and just relax and close your eyes. Now I'm going to give our usual greeting and then lead us in a prayer and then I'll talk you through a meditation. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Let us pray for each other and all the students at St Hilda's, those who are boarders and those who are not. And let's think about all those schools which are now under lockdown, for those students who can still come to school and for those who can't. Let us pray for them. God of all truth, teach us to love you with heart and mind. Bless our schools, colleges and universities, our, and especially our own school of St Hilda. We pray for our borders, for those far away for those at home on their properties, for those closer to Southport, for those in New South Wales. We pray for our day students, for those at home and those who are able to school. We pray for all schools throughout Australia as they struggle with e-learning and online learning. We pray that they may still be lively centres for sound learning, new discovery and the pursuit of wisdom. May all who teach and all who learn seek and love the truth and in humility look to you, the source of all wisdom and understanding. This we pray, Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So remember how you're sitting. Be comfortable, but be relaxed. Don't throw yourself over the desk or anything like that, but just sit up. Have some support for your back. Put your hands together, either in your lap or together with your thumbs pressing together and with your fingers interlaced. And now physically relax. Start from the top of your head, go down the back of your head, down your neck, your spine, your hips and legs and feet and toes. And just Relax your muscles. Keep your eyes closed and concentrate on relaxing. Letting go of the tension, the physical tension you may have, or the emotional or spiritual tension. Just relax. And to help you, I'm going to talk to you, talk you through a method of breathing. It sounds very simple, but real meditation is both a physical exercise as well as a spiritual one. And the physical one starts with thinking about our breath. 
So with our eyes closed, feeling relaxed, feel how we breathe in, feel how we exhale. thinking about that breathing in and breathing out. I want you to do this. Relaxed, eyes closed. Breathe in to the count of four. So you breathe in and count one, two, three, four. Hold for four. One, two, three, four and then out for four. One, two, three, four. Keep doing that. Breathe in for four. One, two, three, four. Hold for four. One, two, three, four. Out for four. One, two, three, four. Concentrate on that. Breathing in. One, two, three, four. Holding. One, two, three, four. Out. One, two, three, four. Just listen to my voice. The hardest part I find is breathing out completely for four. So keep going. Breathing in, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. Just keep doing that. Let it become almost automatic. But don't become tense about it. Just do your best. Breathing in for four. Holding for four. And out for four. Breathing in. Holding. Exhaling, letting it out for four. Breathing in. Holding, out, and as you're doing that, breathing in, holding, and out, I want to talk to you about an image that John used in his gospel. He often wrote at the beginning of his, each chapter of his gospel, up until the death and resurrection of Lazarus in chapter 11. He talked about a miracle and then he'd give teaching about it. But then he'd go straight into teaching in the last 10 chapters, which include Christ's arrest, that were the last supper of Christ's arrest, trial, crucifixion, and resurrection. But there would be whole slabs of teaching. And in it, there'd be metaphors that Jesus used to describe himself. And remember, you're breathing in for four, holding for four and out for four. And one of those metaphors, and they're usually known by scholars as I am statements, is this. I am the gate. I am the gate. So I want you to think and imagine a gate. It might be one of those wire gates with a metal frame 
on your property. It might have metal posts or wooden posts. It might be the gate in your front yard, in a picket fence. It might have a latch. It might just stay shut because the wood has warped and it's stuck. I want you to think about that gate. Imagine it in your mind. Imagine where it is, whereabouts. What is its purpose? Is it a gate for people? Is it narrow? Only allowing one or two people in for, through at a time? Or is it a wide animal gate? Is it over a cattle grid? Is there a sign on it? Please shut the gate. Picture the gate in your mind. Breathing in for four. Holding for four. Out for four. Breathing in for four. Holding for four and out for four. And as you're relaxed, your mind is imagining this gate. Now what is its purpose? It changes a fence line, a wall, it's so important because you no longer have to climb over the fence, climb over the wall. You can go through the gate. You can undo the latch and enter in and close it behind you. You can go through, close the gate and put the chain on it. A gate opens and closes. Such a simple thing, but it changes a fence, a wall. It is something that stops people moving in or out or animals in and out because of what it does. It opens and closes. In that gate image that you have in your mind, think about what lies either side of the gate and you'll see what I mean. Is it a fence? with barbed wire strands? Is it of wood? Is it of brick? Is it cement rendered? The gate turns a barrier into an opening and allows you to enter. But also a gate does this. When it's closed, it becomes a barrier as well. So not only is it a pathway into somewhere, but it's a protection when you're in there. You can enter, the gate's closed, and you're protected. I am the gate, said Jesus. 
we enter into a relationship with God the Father through Jesus. He's the way in. But we also know where we're in. We're protected. I want you to feel that protection. Feel that security. That's one of the underlying themes and meanings that we're celebrating in this season of Easter. Christ's death and resurrection was for each one of us. It shows he is the gate to knowing and following and being with God the Father. Breathing in for four, holding for four, and out for four. Breathing in for four, holding for four, out for four. Next few minutes, reflect on your gait. Breathing in for four, holding for four, out for four. Leave your gate image. Realize where you're sitting. And come back to your room. But be encouraged by your meditation. And now the peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Let us depart in peace. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, girls.